heading into the Oxford game. How, how do you look at it? Um, is it a chance to, to get another game and another look at these young lads? Yeah, it is. Um, it's, uh, we've still got to assess those boys, you know, because uh, they did well in the first game. Um, not quite sure what who we're going to play and uh, at the minute we'll have a roll call later on with the boys from yesterday um, and get the group together and see see where we are. Um, it's a good opportunity for that. Um, obviously, Kean would need a game as well, mm -hmm. so um, a chance for him to, to show his credentials. You know, we we seen him in training and the and a half in the first game. So uh, yeah, a number of reasons. It's, it's a good game for us um, and uh, obviously good, good competition as well. So. Yeah. Um, we'll be looking forward to that one. You know a lot about these young lads, having been sort of the, the head of youth. When quite a lot of them were probably given their two-year scholarships. Yeah. So, uh, how do you sort of gauge their development? At what has been a, a very difficult time for the club? Yeah, I think um, you know, just looking back at all the boys that have been around in the last uh, three, four years, it's you know some of them are victim of circumstances. Probably mm. you know, in a more successful side at the time, you you were kind of probably going to. Giving them, blending them in a bit more, and giving them a bit more time. But that's always a problem at a, you know, a club like Cheltenham. How long do you give these lads? And you know, you do need, you know, the way the the, the club went in the last, you know, eighteen months or so before, it was difficult to put them in. Um, and then uh, you don't have the time to, you know, to, to give them to to develop. Um, so uh, it, it's one of those things. I'm I'm sure some of them will come good again. You know that um, that, that have. That have left and um, on the on the way sort of out, but um, you know it's uh, and the boys we've got in now the second the second years and the first years. There's some good players in there. Obviously, we've seen Luke go off, um, and uh, unfortunately Pringy went as well. So, um, <clears throat> but there's there's a few good lads in there that um, you know it'd be a good test for them again. That, that it's it's. And it's it's over a, a length of time. You've got to see them. You know, they can't make rest decisions on young lads. I think you've got to see. Um, you know, they've done well in one game. Can you reproduce it in two games? That that's a big thing with young young boys is consistency and performance um, and repeating things properly over and over again. Gary said after Oxford that the, the first game that maybe some of them had sort of gone up in his estimation. Was that the, was that the same with the, the entire coaching staff? Yeah, it was. Yeah, uh, you know, one or two that we. Probably weren't hadn't seen a lot of like you know I've seen them, but uh, you, you're unsure of them at a senior level. Probably did better than we thought, and um, if they can reproduce that, then they'll put themselves right in there, um, you know, with a chance of getting something. So um, it's a chance for us to look at that. Like I said, we'll have a um, look at the boys that played yesterday, see if anyone's available, and um, you know who's um, who wants to play and is around, and we'll we'll assess that probably tomorrow after speaking to the physios later on today. Yeah, obviously the chance to play in an adult competition against grizzled old pros is probably something that is a bit of a luxury and, and perhaps does give you more of an idea about these yeah. young lads earlier on. Yeah, it tests them. You know, I, th I think it's physical, mental, um, concentration levels, um, taking on instruction. You know, it's all those sort of things that uh, you know they've got to be because uh, at, at youth level, twenty ones or whatever, you can. You can sort of semi get away with it, and it's mm. not too costly for you. It's seen as development, and whereas here it's not. You know, it's it's uh, win or bust really. Yeah, the the FA Trophy is a competition that that has its pros and and cons at this, this time. You you've probably seen both with with Cheltenham as, yeah. as a player winning it, and 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 now when it's almost not in the way, but it's 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 very much a second fiddle thing. No, is, that, a, is that a good thing for football that it's these a, things happen? It's just the way it is. It, what, how else can they? I, you know, I've been looking at it. how else can the national league run? You know, organise yeah. it really. It's it's one of those that uh, they've got to get all the other games out of the way first. You know, the mm -hmm. preliminary rounds and all that. So that can't be done till you know a fair amount of chunk into the season. So you know, it has to be done now. Really, it's not a lot we can do about it. Um, but uh, you know you've got to be some squad and team to win both. Yeah. You know I, I think it was twenty odd years ago, wasn't it? Last time was it Colchester? Yeah, yeah. so something like that. Yeah, twenty five, thirty years ago. I think Wickham and ago. Colchester did it both. And so, you know, obviously you, you go into every game going to win it. Um, so we'll see see where it takes us. And uh, you know we won it ninety um, eight. Yeah, all right. Yeah, ninety seven, ninety eight. It was my first year, and then uh, semi finals on it mm. to Kingstonian the the year after. So we gave it a good shot then. Um, obviously went up that second year, so but it's good competition, and um, you know there's always that for every non-league player, and mm. there's that 
guys have a Wembley appearance. Do you remember that Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday that, that was yeah. forced on by that? How, how difficult <coughs> yeah. was that to play? Well, uh, it, yeah, it was difficult. It stretches the squad. Um, you've got to, again, you've got to be fit and mentally and physically and look after yourselves. And I think that was instilled into us. And it's you know the same as this group now. So it's instilled into them. Um, a number of ways you can do that. But um, I think we won the game. We won the league with three or four games to go, didn't we? Mm. So the last sort of week and a half, two weeks, we were, you know, we were okay. Although <laughs> you were done. Yeah, we didn't stand, we'd say we put, we took our foot off the pedals. But, you know, I remember Steve saying to us, "You can do what you like when you're in the league," and we thought, okay, but we couldn't, <laughs> even though we did. Yeah. So um, I think we lost. Did we lose the last? Did we, uh, I think drew, drew lost, one, lost two, two drew, drew one. Drew one yeah. yeah. So um, you know, and I uh, remember him. He spoke to um, another manager, and they said, "Well, what can you do? You know, yeah. you've, you've you've set out what you set out to do, and that's what happened." So, uh, you know, but uh, no, good times, and um, you know, if we're looking back, look, you know, looking forward to tomorrow. We'll we'll be giving it our best shot to to get through. It's funny. What was the mood like yesterday after after that? Had that, that quite sunk in with everybody. What happened in those oh, great the last few minutes? I know it was. Um, it was just the way our season's gone, really. You know, we, we seem to pull things out when not expected. Uh, the boys have got a, a great character to keep going and um, determination and spirit. You can see that, you know, we, um, it's, uh, you know, I, I don't know where it came from, really. It was just one of those things. And you can see Dover tiring, um, but they, they've got a certain way of playing um, and a couple of, you know, exceptional players, I think, in, in Dover Dixon, what he does. And uh, Miller is a very good player. Uh, they caused us problems, but um, you know you could see us. We didn't quite get things going until late on, uh, mid second half probably, uh, and you could see them tiring. It's got a lot of big lads, who, you know, and uh, functional players, I would mm. say. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we we managed to to keep at it, and a couple of things fell for us, didn't they? You know, dates come on, and you know, uh, as ill as he was, he managed mm. to produce a little bit of spark that um, that got us uh, a couple of chances. Right, he finishes off his penalty and was there. You know, in the right place at the right time to um, to cap off, you know, a fantastic turnaround in the last, you know, five six minutes. A lot we've we've done a few times. So mm. um, the, the game itself was poor, wasn't it? Mm. You know, I think uh, myself and Bookie were threatening to we had our fingers over and over the cancellation button on our <laughs> subscriptions, <laughs> um, which I had a joke with the with the guy on the side about. <laughs> but um, no, it's great to to get through. And and I think the key to winning leagues is I remember Steve McLaren. We had a we had a meeting. Had a meeting with him one time, and um, he said, "You know, a team that win his time at Man United." He said, "Teams that win leagues find a way to win. It doesn't matter how you do it, you find a way." And um, I think that's very important. Yeah, obviously, there's been a focus on trying to improve performances as, as such, but while I suppose you are ticking off the results, that cons- massive concern isn't there. No, well, yeah, well, exactly. You're going to get peaks and troughs in performances, aren't you? You know, players aren't going to play well for 46 games, and they're not going to. Probably play forty six games. Or, you know, it's, that's that's the f- facts of the nature that we're in, and uh, you know the competitiveness of the the game. But even though p- the performances may dip and go f- up and down, results have to sort of stay mm-hmm. fairly level. And like I said, you know, if you've got seven or eight or nine performing to a decent level every week, you've got a good chance. Excellent.